Hello, everybody. So it's been a while. I'm going to try to keep this short, I guess. Um, so I've done the Taurus and Aries, or I've done the Venus and Aries, Venus and Gemini videos. And I think it's about time I do Venus and Taurus. And the reason why I haven't been, I haven't done it because I didn't want to give just a simple video explaining Venus and Taurus just like everyone else does. I wanted to do a video, I wonder how this works if I tilt my screen. I wanted to do a video that was unique and that was informative and correct. Venus and Taurus is actually really simple. <laughs> so after I've been kind of meditating on it for about a month or two, um, I wanted to do it when the sun was in Taurus, but I'm uploading this when the sun's in Cancer, whatever. Um, so Venus and Taurus is actually very beautiful. It's simple, stable. Um, I mean, at worst, I guess you could say it's materialistic, but actually these people value material things. These people are stable in relationships, conservative, beautiful. It's just this very calm, serene energy. It's Venus and Taurus, of course, because, you know, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, but in Taurus, it's much more grounded. Um, it's based on the senses. These people love to feel things. They love, not emotionally necessarily, but physically. They love to see, smell, taste, hear, touch, you know? So it's actually really nice. Um, Venus and Taurus people are romantic and they look up to stable relationships. They respect people that keep the peace. They respect people that save money. They respect people that want better for the world, just in a very simple way. So these people can actually do this, like they can improve the world by, by being an example of this. And of course, I think Venus, in, in spiritual astrology, Venus is actually kind of an exalted, spiritual planet. It's where it's what's pulling us to peace. So we're either pulled to Mars, which is in esoteric spiritual astrology, viewed as a planet of destruction, or we're pulled to, towards our Venus. Um, if you have Venus in Taurus and it's strong in your chart, this will be very obvious. You'll have a very beautiful life. You will work hard, actually, and towards getting what you want and maintaining that value system that you have already. So no matter, if, you're, if your Venus is in Taurus, of course your Sun's going to be in Taurus, Aries, or Gemini. And I don't think it's possible for any other um, combination. So, Venus in Taurus probably has good taste like I do. I'm a Capricorn, but I just got... And that's, I'm just bragging. Okay, I like, at this point, I have to say that I do have good taste. And if you have Venus and Taurus, you have the capability of having the best kind of taste there is. Quality. Quality assurance is definitely a word I would place with this. Values are important to you. There's not much I can say. Like, I keep repeating the same things over and over again. Um, but relationship-wise, you want something stable. You want someone to be there for you. You want to be there for someone. And you are the kind of friend and person in social situations that will be there when no one else is, necessarily. So that is an earth sign. Depending if you have a lot of fire or water in your chart, you may not be as reliable. Or air. You know, earth is pretty much the only reliable element. Like, it takes pride and value no matter the, the planet, and being there for someone. I mean, if your moon's in Taurus, it's like you emotionally want to be there for people. If your Venus is there, you value being there for people. You view it as a very good trait. You view it as something that you need to attain. You view it as something that is romantic and beautiful, and it's just a beautiful, like, to me, I would, I would be really good with someone with Venus in Taurus in my life. Of course, at the same time, my Venus is in Aquarius. 
Um, so we might have different value systems because in Aquarius it's very stubborn and, and fixed and steady, but it's just very contrarian. And, you know, there's a similar thing with Taurus. Taurus is actually very obstinate. So while your value system may be good and you may be easygoing, if someone tells you to do something that you don't want to do, your Venus might kick in and say, excuse me, or you just might not do it because you know what you value. You know what you don't value. Um, you're not willing to go underneath the surface that much, like Venus and Scorpio, or a Scorpio. So this Venus may oppose that Scorpio energy. Any planet in Scorpio, someone in Sc like a Scorpio energy, which is the opposite of Taurus, they may push you or prod you, and they may want to get inside your head. But Venus and Taurus values respect. Uh, there's a bubble around in Taurus. You could call it a bubble. You know, a Taurus may build... Um, like a house around them, a brick house, to protect or just basically, not necessarily protect like cancer or a water sign, but just to keep everyone out because it's none of their business. So that's that's a Taurus saying, really. It's none of your business. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, no. No is definitely a good Taurus word. So valuing the word no is definitely a Venus and Taurus thing. Um, being able to say yes and no. Finding a balance between that is definitely... Probably, um, like, an aim in this life for you. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can say. I wanted to make, like, a ten minute long video. I think that's what my other videos were. Um, but yeah, Venus and Taurus, you like nice things. Uh, like I said, you have quality. You want nice things in a relationship. You probably want to dress your partner well. Um, you want to eat good food, you want to smell nice things, you want to have the best candles, you would, you're probably willing to spend that money on quality things. You probably have a good eye for quality. Um, values. I could just say a whole bunch of different words that would, would, uh, suit you. Um, but yeah, good values. Very good values. So I really like this placement because I think Venus belongs here. Why do I have like a metal thing in my shirt? I just bought this shirt. And it's green. Very Taurus-like. I'm a Capricorn Taurus, so I think I know Taurus pretty well. Um, I know Scorpio equally. So I feel like I can get along with the earth and water signs very evenly. I can kind of see the, the differences between the opposing energies, of course, right? Um, but of course, Taurus lies in between the two water signs, Pisces and Cancer. What is, what do Pisces and Cancer have in common? Romanticism, or basically kind of just wanting to see things in a good light. You, Venus and Taurus actually values everything being seen positively rather than negatively. It's not overly positive. It's not overly optimistic or blind, like some signs, which I'm not going to mention. But Taurus is actually realistically optimistic, as in they can see a pathway to a better life that is actually attainable and reliable and practical and Earth-like and down-to-earth. So Venus and Taurus is like a pretty... If I'm going to, like, use a euphemism or whatever, Venus and Taurus is like a pretty but stable and long-lasting cherry blossom tree. So a sakura tree, a cherry tree, um, or a weeping willow, because it's just very calm, laid back, and beautiful, but stable and steady and amazing. Okay, I think I'm, I've done good this time. All right, so next I should be uploading... Venus in Cancer. Maybe I'll do it while the sun is still in Cancer. All right, thank you. Bye.